So, as many of you know who's following Ladybird Farm on social media, my name is Rebecca Sabaya. I am a new farmer, I'm also a dietitian and a mum of two and a Brit living in North Carolina. And I just want to say that I, I started off doing some uh, farmer's market at the beginning of the year and I've sold a little bit. But I'm going to approach this first year of farming as a practice year. I'm going to use it to mostly grow food for my family if I can do a little bit of extra that's cool because right now my kids are off for the summer anyways and I'm full time taking care of them and even making farmers markets can be a little bit of a challenge for me right now but for new farmers I want to share let's just get these raised beds established get the soil the way I want it see what grows well um, don't worry about the failures, we just harvest some potatoes and they were tiny and very few but that was the first year and we planted them a little bit too late. So I think come next year when we start the spring and the summer and then the fall I'll be a lot better, a lot more confident and more productive for farmers markets. So here we go, here's an update. The watermelons are spreading nicely. I visited the children's home farm in Winston-Salem this week and their watermelons are nearly coming in. Hey, but this is in my advantage because I'll be late coming in. So when a lot of them have been gone, I'll be coming in with mine. The squash are doing well. It's been very hot and very suddenly. So I'm having water every few days because I really want to get this well established because we're going on a trip soon. This is my first big cucumber. And I'm coming from the position of being a home gardener and helping in a school garden. So this is a big step to try and grow enough to feed other people. A Swiss chard's always doing well. This is a wonderful and easy vegetable to grow. Cantaloupe is coming along nicely. I'm giving this a whole raised bread to spread into. So it's nice and happy and has lots of space. Tomatoes are coming along. There's a few little ones down here and I'll show you over here. This is Larry and my neighbour Till for me and I'm trying hard to establish some corn and some pumpkins and some sunflowers. I have never grown corn. This is my first year growing sunflowers, my first year growing pumpkins. So this is going to be a lot of firsts and again it's just trying to get these well established so I feel confident leaving them because these are these plants right now on the farm are really like my other children. They're like my little babies. I'm always thinking about them. So this, this pumpkin plant, look. Now this, you need thinning, but let's just see if that's going to spread out along the ground. It might be okay with the sunflowers either side of it. They're going up and this is going to go across. So follow along. As I say, this is mostly going to be a practice year, year one, and I should be more productive next year 2017 season and hopefully these babies will do well and I'll have a pumpkin patch and people can come out and pick their own pumpkins off the vine that's the dream anyways thanks for joining share comments share tips